Earth needs Dr. Fate. Then, about five years ago, Karma caught up with him. It was a weekend show. Full house. Boston was in the middle of his death-defying act when... He died. And that should have been that. But with Boston, things tend to get complicated. His spirit was called by the goddess Ramakrishna. She took pity on him and gave him the power to possess the living so he could bring his killer and others to justice. Hey, I don't want to break, but I'm good. You should not exist outside my control. Yes, I see now. Your name was Cyrus Gold. An evil man who performed many evil deeds. Until the day you aroused an evil as great as your own. They ended your life. Cursed you with a powerful greed greed. And dumped your remains in a swamp redolent with mystical properties of its own. These magics did not sit well together. And so it was that decades later, the swamp gave birth to a walking dead man. Soulless and empty, always seeking, never knowing why. Sorry I'm late, just woke up two minutes ago. By base treachery, Camelot will fall this day. You could never understand Malin. You who are not a man and have never known the sweetness of a woman's kiss. A viper's kiss, Jason Blood. The kiss of a demon in human form. All my great dreams are undone in the name of thy tainted love. I've paid for my crime with my life. Is that not enough? Nay, such swift mercy is not for the likes of thee. Thou art cursed, Jason Blood, until the day this monstrous deed is atoned. To mark thy eternal shame, I hereby bind thy soul to a creature of the pit. Look thee now, and see the face spawned of thy lust, the face of thy perdition, the face of thy inner demon. I have a kingdom to protect. was but a simple peasant, cast out because of my deformity. Alone and forlorn, 
I wandered in the wasteland, guided by an unknown hand of fate. It was when I was set upon by a gang of thieves bent on taking what little I had that the ultimate truth was revealed to me. Before the thieves could flee, the ground split asunder. A great flame shot forth and destroyed my assailants. Spared. My third eye opened and the flame spoke to me in a voice only I could hear. It told me of a time when Kalinor would become a paradise. Pytar charged me with the honor of leading my world to greatness and spreading its light across the galaxy. A lot of people think I'm a coward because of what happened in the war. Did your ring tell you about that? You are no coward, Hal Jordan. To you, all life is precious. And this ring is far too powerful to fall into the hands of someone who doesn't understand that. How does this thing work? The Guardians... They... Will... was over 25,000 years ago. While my fellows cowered with fear, I dared approach the strangely glowing rock. It was warm. The night was very cold. I slept curled up next to it, not realizing what its rays were doing to me. No one messes with the Justice League. Some even said she was a monster. Is this a monster? I ask you. Uh, purely rhetorically, of course. Condemned for something she could barely comprehend, our little A soon found herself a guest of the government. But even they were afraid of her strange power. Fortunately for them, their nasty little headband made her as harmless as a drowned kitten. I 
If anyone's seed is going to be spread to the heavens, it will be mine. You should feel honored, Lara. <sighs> Upon your egg I bestow my eminence. Ours will be the last child of Krypton. my old Cadmus connections to gather the technology necessary for Project Batman Beyond. Bruce's DNA was easy enough to obtain. He left it all over town. Not remotely what I meant. Then I found a young Neo-Gotham couple with psychological profiles nearly identical to those of Bruce's parents. Your father thought he was getting a flu shot. Actually, it was a nanotech solution programmed to rewrite his reproductive material into an exact copy of Bruce Wayne's. A little over a year later, your mother gave birth to you, a child sharing half her genetic material and half Bruce's. But when you're making a Batman, genetics is only part of the story. The rest is tragedy. Stop me if you've heard it before. You're eight years old. Your parents have just taken you to a rousing adventure film. A grand time is had by all. But unknown to you, a mysterious figure hides in the shadows. My plan was simple. The killer would leap out at you and kill your family. The trauma would put you on the path to becoming Batman. One problem, my assassin wouldn't pull the trigger. I argued with her, but deep down I knew she was right. People say Batman's obsessive, that he'd do anything to achieve his goals, but he'd never resort to murder. So if I was to honor all he stood for, neither could I. 